everyone, this is Dawn. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a set of thank you cards using the Stars and Sparklers card making stamp and thin cut set. So I'm only going to use the stamps and I'm going to use the star and the couple of fireworks bursts and the thin cut that I'm going to use is the thanks thin cut from the core catalog. So I'm going to use a variety of cardstock colors and you can pull whatever colors and inks you have in your stash and some black cardstock and white daisy. So I'm going to start out with my colored cardstock and I'm going to cut this so that I'll leave a white border on my card front. So I'm going to cut this at five and a quarter by four and then I'm going to size down by a quarter inch on each of the next uh, colors. So the next one is black and that's going to be at uh, five by three and three quarters. And then white daisy is going to be four and three quarters by three and a half. Okay, so they just size down so that I leave borders of each of those colors around. Okay, so I'm checking to make sure that my thanks die will fit <laughs> just to be sure. And then I'm going to start doing some stamping. So I'm going to coordinate the Bluebird cardstock with the Bluebird ink and make a monochromatic background for my thanks sentiment. So I'm going to use the largest fireworks burst and I'm stamping that in Bluebird. And then I'm not re-inking. I'm just, I'm going to huff on the stamp to moisten it and then I'm going to do second generation. So stamp first, huff, turn the stamp just a smidge, and then stamp in between those images with second generation ink. Okay, so now I'm going to use the next fireworks and I'm going to stamp that off on the scratch paper and then huff and then stamp and then I'm going to do third generation and I'm not going to ink the stamp up again and huff and stamp. And then I'm doing first generation for the stars. So you can get a variety of ink colors with one ink pad and keep it all uh, monochromatic. Okay, so that's my background. And now I'm going to cut the word thanks with black cardstock. So I'm just going to use the thanks uh, detail die. I'm not going to use that background die that comes in the set. I'm just going to use the detailed letters. So I'm going to cut those out with black cardstock and then I'm going to run it through a second time so that I can stack my letters. I'm going to glue them together and stack them for some dimension. And then on my uh, next two cards after this one, I decided to stack three layers of the cardstock. So you can stack as high as you want to make them uh, pop off the front of your card as high as you'd like. So I think um, three layers is ideal. But this one I did too, so I'm just going to show you the process for a few of the letters. I have decanted uh, Tombow white glue into this uh, applicator and it gives a, a finer bead. And so I'm just going to glue my letters together using the wet glue. And it's easier if you have a set of tweezers. And then you just kind of it, I'm sorry, this is off camera, but kind of stack them and um, make sure that they're layered exactly one on top of the other. And then you just keep continuing to stack your letters and glue them all together. So I'm going to skip ahead in a second. It's the same process for all of them. And now I have all of my letters glued together. Okay, now we're ready to start assembling the card. I'm going to take a card base. This is an A2 size card base. That is five and a half by four and a quarter. I'm going to lay down my Bluebird card stock with Tombow tape, and then the black one, and then my stamped layer. So we'll add all of those. And then I will glue my letters on top of this. So 
I have to apologize. I'm in the mo- middle of a cross country move and um, my setup isn't what I'm accustomed to. And since I've moved a lot of stuff out of my craft room, we're getting this echo with uh, my voiceover. So I apologize. I'll get set up in the new house as soon as possible and then I'll be back to normal. So just a couple videos will be a little bit off. <laughs> so um, I'll get everything set up as soon as I can. So I worked with what I had. So, okay, so now I have all of my letters glued to the front. And then of course I have to add a little extra bling. These are the clear sparkles. So I'm just gonna scatter a whole bunch of those around the card front. Clean and simple, and you can just mix and match all your uh, card stocks and ink colors that you have to make a set. So this one's with Bluebird. Some close-up shots here. And then I'm gonna take you through the stamping part of the candy apple. And then the third one that I did is uh, green apple. So I'll have some still shots of the finished cards at the end. So I'm cutting down my cardstock candy apples at uh, five and a quarter by four. And then the black is at five by three and three quarters. And then the white daisy is at four and three quarters by three and a half. So I'll take you through the stamping and it's the same thing first, second, and I think I, I just used first and second for this one generation stamping. So ink up your stamp, stamp, and then huff. Don't re-ink and then stamp again. Same thing for this one. Stamp. Huff on your stamp to moisten it and then stamp again. And then I'll use the next fireworks burst. And I'm going to use that full strength and then huff and then second gen. And then the stars. I have my background and then I'll add my thanks and assemble the same way as I did the other one. So these are the close-up shots. So all of these supplies are currently available in my online store. I will make a list with links in the description below and you can go to the URL or use the links um, the Earl in the upper corner, right corner of your screen, or use the links below to do a little shopping. So I appreciate you watching my video today. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.